Hey YouTube, it's your girl Diamond. I'm back with another video and I'm recording this video for the second time. The first video was 44 minutes and I'm upset because I accidentally deleted one part of the clips. So I'm here. But we're not gonna make this video that long because yeah. But I got bullet points in here to, to let y'all know what's tea. So get y'all popcorn. <coughs> Act like y'all watch TV, okay? Okay, so this story time is going to be about this dude named Curious George. We give him Curious George, which I will see why. And I'm a, this going to be like two or three stories within a story. Because that's the only way I can describe Curious George. How curious he was, okay? So just sit back and relax. Get your popcorn, get your drink. Subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff so YouTube can see me and put me out there for the world to see. Yeah. So, no further ado, let's go. So, the boy Curious George, ninth grade year, we never spoke. We never spoke. Like, ever. Like, when I mean never, ever, 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 he said one thing to me, and that's the only time. We had to sit by each other this close. For a whole year straight, never once talked about anything, never once said anything, never once anything. The man asked me my ninth grade year, he asked me, do I like this school so far? I said, yeah, it's good, it's all right. The whole year, we never, I ever heard from him. But behind him sat Roll Up. If y'all didn't go watch my story time about how I almost got raped at school, this is him, the one that was said, this, that's Roll Up. He sat behind Curious George. Curious George and Roll Up is like best friends, Ace Boo Coons, brothers, you feel me? But I didn't find out about for Roll Up having triplets. He was a triplet until after the stuff that he did to me. So if y'all don't go watch that story time, I need y'all go click out of here and watch that story time. Then come back. Come back here. So I can let y'all know. So every day through my ninth grade year, me and Roll Up talked to each other, conversated it. We wasn't on like likable level we was just cordial conversation like we give him a classroom he asked me before i come to class you come to know uh english is you coming to english or now nah, is you come like it was never nothing major just what i thought due time y'all see if y'all go watch that video go watch that it was like that so curious georgian roll up is ace boo coons never talked to roll up ever ever i mean never talked to uh curious george ever 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 me and roll up had conversations like Every day, we communicated, we laughed, we played in class. It was like, yeah, it was nothing nothing more that I thought of. Okay, so 10th grade year come. We come back to school. Now we're in different classes except we're in algebra. We're in algebra, me and Curious George. But now we're sitting far from each other. He felt the need to come across the classroom to ask me questions, take my pencils, flirt like he's starting to do a little bit flirty things because i'm like um where was the energy at like i'm like boy you don't know me like i said like they said what do you mean we sat by each other for a whole year in class my point exactly and you never said not two words to me so how could you just come up and act like you just know me you don't and um and um and i'm like he just throwing a little bit a lot of flirty stuff a lot of flirty stuff and i was like okay because he got a lot of animosity this year he he got big balls he, he just think he was the best. But I'm going to tell you all right now. A little disclaimer. Ninth grade year, he was ugly. He was fuggly. Real fucking ugly. <laughs> he was fuggly. But you know, I never did. I never discriminated. Well, I did, but I got over it my ninth grade year. Like, I didn't discriminate because all races wanted to talk to me. So, I just said, hey, why am I playing? Why am I playing? You feel me? Who am I to say it all? So, all these bad shit down my timeline. Telling me that they in love. <laughs> okay, you feel me? That, that's I felt. PNB rocking, my guy. High school years, I was a player. PNB rocking, young uh, uh, Dirk. Mm -hmm. Who that is? That that's Dirk. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that, that that's PNB rock. Okay, they're my people. But um, yeah, I was just in my zone. He was very fucking ugly, fuggly. He was very uh, fuggly. <laughs> Ninth grade year. 10th grade year, he glowed up a little bit. He wasn't too fine, but he glowed up a little bit. But you know how people ugly grow on you, if that makes sense? Like, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. When ugly grows on you, like, you may think they're ugly today, but three days from now, they're going to be cute. 
then they're gonna be fine. Then they're gonna be fine as wine. Then it's like that's daddy. You feel me? Y'all know how that go. Y'all know how that go. If y'all don't, y'all will in high school, y'all understand. So people become fuggly, then cute as hell, fine as wine, you mine. That's that's the vibes he was giving. So he started out very fucking fuggly. Then he turned from fuggly to where he turned cute. Then he turned fine, he turned fine as wine, then he was all mine kind of situation. We went together, we kind of together. We went together. Nope. We took that back. We went together. No, it's your shape foreign fashion. Um so Curious George did that or algebra. Then after that, he wanted to uh, pull my hair. Talk about why you want to wear all this weave when you got a lot of hair. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all what's tea. I cut my hair since I've been grown. But as a kid growing up, I wouldn't dare cut my hair. My hair was just luxury, lovely, lovely luxury. That boy was smack down, down hair. You feel me? I was that bitch. I was a bitch. Because I want to be Jada, wait, 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 bitch. You feel me? I was that bitch. So, when I did, I, but I also had talent for doing hair. So, that means you rarely got to see my real hair. But when you got to see my real hair, that's when I see more niggas popping out. And then, after that, it was like, they were like, oh, you do your hair all the time. You try to do your nails all the time. That was just me. So, he put my real hair talking about, why don't you ever wear your hair all the time? You got too much fucking hair to keep you. If you was my girl, you wouldn't be doing that. So then he was like, I'm like, boy, where was this energy in ninth grade year? Like, you didn't say not two words. You didn't say hi or bye. Have a nice day. Who, what, what, how your day been? He, you didn't say those words to me. Because that's not what I heard you say. But hey. I started, I'm like, okay, he kind of cute. No, he kind of cute. Then his hair started growing. His hair started growing rapidly. And you know when dudes fuggly and they grow their hair out, but they grow them out in a cute style or not that nappy ass shit on top of their motherfucking head. He was growing his dreads out. That boy became cute, cuter than cuter. Like he was coming to be, I can't say fine yet. He wasn't fine yet. It was something about the lips that threw me off about him. But it, after a while, his lips became okay. I don't remember. It was like his bottom lip was big. His top lip was, it was big, but it was like, they was it was dark, like. Then after a while, his lips just even toned out. But he was very fucking ugly to me. And he became cute. He started flirting with me. He started talking to me. He started being aggressive to me. Then he fast forward up. Prom coming up. We been talking every day, though. We done, At this point, we didn't already got each other. At Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. What was it? It was another app. It was another app. It's four apps. It was four apps. I'm telling you why. Because I blocked them on them at this time. So it was like four apps. And he texted me on like all four of them damn apps. When I don't reply to one app, he go to another app and text me. Oh, our phones, our phones, like our phones, our regular phones. So when I didn't reply to his first messages on one place, he go to the next place. So at this point, he's literally always on the phone with me. He's always on the phone with me. We're always talking. Blah, blah, blah. Ninth grade, tenth grade year. I don't know what happened. He must grab his cahoots because he got talking to me. He made me feel like I was the only one. Don't, don't, don't talk about me. Um, but yeah, he definitely did his, his job as a man, supposed to did. Made me feel like I was the one and I wasn't. So, uh, yeah. Prime, like I said, is coming up. Prime's coming up. He been talking to me every day about my favorite color, what size shoe I wear, what this and that, what da, 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 da. How would I feel if, how big do I want somebody to ask me for prom? Do I want it on a poster card? Would I like it uh, written down on a, on a uh, school floor or something like that? He said, because I want to know what you would like. He's like, I'm not, don't get too hyped because I'm not going to ask you to prom. And I just want to know what you got going on for prom. You got anybody to go with you? I said, no, I'm not uh, going to prom nobody because I'm not going to prom. But I really, really, that year I wanted to go to prom. So I'm going to bad. So I'm going to bad. So, I'm like, do you, boo? Do you? I thought that was, that was, what was tea. He, then we got to class. He said, so how would you feel if I asked you to go to prom? Would you tell me no? I said, no, I wouldn't tell you no. I'd tell you, yeah, but why? Why you want to go to prom with me? He said, cool, we talk every day, but I just want to know how big you want it. I don't know if you type of shy girl. You a girl that don't like everything big. So he basically asked me to prom. Why I thought. Bitch. So why that didn't even stop. So then the word got around because the class heard him asking me that I want to go to prom. And a couple of people in that class knew that he was asking me to prom. 
they kind of busted out and told me. He was like, yeah, he said he want to ask you the promise. Why he even asked you all these questions? I said, girl, don't hype me up. <laughs> don't hype me up. Uh, don't hype me up. Okay, so like, everybody knew in the classroom, the word started traveling that like he was going to be taking me to prom. Cool. Cool. I thought, cool. I said, I'm just going to act not weird, but I'm going to act chill. But you know, every time you act chill, you act weird. So I was trying to act chill. I'm like, yeah. Um, okay, I'm giving very much bougie, quiet, sassy, classy, bad bitch vibes. Because he asked me all the many questions. And because I know the questions are going to be eventually, can you go to prom with me? And I was waiting. I was waiting patiently. Then the word got around that I was probably getting asked to prom by Curious George. Why some little dark-skinned girl comes up to me? And she was like, um, is your diamond? I'm like, yeah, why? She like, oh, you're pretty by the way, but I just want to know, um, you know about Curious George taking you to prom? I said, well, if I didn't, I do now. She was like, oh, well, I'm sorry. Act like you didn't hear it from me. But I was wanting to know because he said if you wouldn't, I don't know if she was being petty or what. Um, Y'all tell me what that is. She said, um, well, he told me if you wasn't gonna take, if you wasn't gonna go to prom with him, he's gonna take me to prom. That's why, but we've been on the phone every other day. He's trying to get your poster right. So can you tell me everything that you like on your poster card and whatever and whatnot? I did. So I'm like, I told her everything. I'm like, but why would you tell me that about that? She said, no, I'm not trying to be messy. I promise you. I promise you. I want to know. She was like, she was like, so please don't tell him no. Please don't tell him no. But it's not to me she was saying, please tell him no. Please tell him no. And I probably should have told everybody fucking no. Because not even only that, that was just that on that. So I'm going to call her the little LD because she's a little dark skinned. So, kind of, some people knew about him probably been asking her to prom. So while he got her asking me for stuff for prom, he got somebody else asking her for what she wants for prom. And not even only that, guess when the when the poster card came, guess what that motherfucking poster card said? You remember I only said me, her, I heard about? Y'all, when the poster card came, the dude came to school dressed up, hair good, smelling good. We don't went to three classes together at this point. We walked the hallways together all day. Poster card been sitting in the office this whole mother trucking time. I didn't see the poster card, but I didn't know it was his poster card. You see what I'm saying? But the name I seen on the poster card wasn't my name nor a little uh, LD name. So that's why I dad said it wasn't. It couldn't have been mine. It couldn't have been mine. It couldn't have been nobody's. It couldn't be nobody's up in here. But he looked good that day for, for school. He had a, I never forget, he had a purple shirt on. Purple long sleeve on, his hair tied up and looks like a little pigtail, the little things like this. But he had dreads, so just imagine, just imagine with me. And he had a little vest over, a black vest and a purple flower in his pocket, and some some dressy pants, the black dressy pants, and his shoes was uh, black and purple. Boys looking fly, the boys looking fly. He ate all you hoes up. You feel me? And me walking down the hall with him. And so I dressed every day. So they didn't have a problem with that. I was dressable every day. So just to see him step, and I was already stepping, I just felt like our vibe was there that day. We took pictures that day. Me and him took pictures that day. I don't got the pictures no more because I deleted every motherfucking thing that has to do with him. So I knew I had my woes and he had his woes, but he heard that he was going. Like, he made a lot of my woes feel some type of way because I, the word got around and he was asking me to go to prom with him. My ex was so freaking jealous and mad. He said, nah, merch you like black dudes. Merch you sound racist. Merch. Because I'm not even going to talk about all the girls that you date. Ain't none of them my color. They all seven shades darker than me. Not you talking about somebody color. Cool. <laughs> So, I thought that was that on that. I thought that was that on that. I'm thinking, I'm like, what class is he going to ask me? Is he going to ask us in our, our class that we turned, which is, um, 
algebra. Is he going to ask me in front of everybody in front of the algebra and whatever and whatnot? So at this point, I'm thinking like that's when he's going to ask me. Algebra was like the seventh class. And, you know, you got eight classes a day. So that was close to the end of the day. I'm like, okay, that's probably what's going to happen. Y'all. Y'all. Lunchtime come. He at, he brings the poster board. The poster board that I just seen in the office to the lunchroom. We shared lunch together. Or did we? Not. I think we did. Something like that. But either way, go, me and this girl share lunch for sure. For sure. I'm out of truck. I'm out of pocket. I'm out of pocket. I gotta go back a little bit. I gotta go back a little bit. So, no, I'm gonna keep going. It's gonna be out of order because I should have gave a story time before the story time. So, it would be making sense to that. But I'm just gonna give that story time. He walked in there. And he gave it to my boyfriend my boyfriend my current boyfriend x he asked my current boyfriend x to prom we need a moment of silence for that because i never because i ain't never been disrespected today in my he who life but that day that day i got disrespected on so many levels so many levels. Let me tell you why. Now I'm going to go back a little bit. Because after I said that, I'm going to go back and explain why it was so fucked up. So, my boyfriend X, we're going to give her the name X. We're going to call her X. We're going to call my boyfriend, boyfriend. We're going to call her boyfriend. So stay along, stay tuned with all the names. Like, follow along with all the names. I got some story times about everybody in the story again, but I got their own separate story. This story right here is just a prime horror story because that's, that's what it was given. They did this because that's my boyfriend, ex, the ex, ex, consider herself as my boyfriend, first love. But he'll tell you she's not, not even in the top three tier of first love. I'll tell you that. He's not. She's not. She's not. I, I tell my boyfriend this every day. I don't have a first love. Because if that's the case, if, if it's the first person that broke your heart, all y'all niggas broke my heart. It's sunk to the bottom of my ass cheeks, okay? I'll let that be known. He'll tell you right now. He'll tell you his story about who his first love is. He'll, he'll say it's me, but I just, I wouldn't expect him to be me because I tell him this every day. You're not my first love because I don't have a first love. Until you do something out of the extravagant, ordinary, extraordinary that everybody else ain't did, I don't have a first love. So my ex didn't think he my first love, and you're not. You're the first nigga that taught me how to fucking cheat in my phone. That's it. Thank you for that. But that's about it. Um, that's more story. That's not the, that's not the part. So she did that because. We're going to bring up another person in the story. I, I got to go back, but I had to let that story be told because I got to go back to get to where we at now. So, we're going to talk about this boy, Bendo. Bendo was somebody I was kicking and cocking and cooking with. We was damn near together. We was damn near together. I didn't say we was together. I said we was damn near together. So, Bendo had a, a cousin named Shy. Shy was... That color. Okay, he was that color. I don't know if y'all can see it if I, I'm a little on this side. That color. He wasn't my color, but he was that color. But his teeth looked like this. Very bright, very bright. So Bando and me down there together, where he coming over my house, he met my mama. He's first to me my mama. He met my mama, he he talked to me and whatever and whatnot. We was on top of the world level, but I'm gonna tell you how me and Bando broke it off, but that's gonna be another story. So, Bando was my, not forever, but for that moment, boyfriend. And he worked across the street. So I worked at McDonald's and he worked at Burger King. But he worked at Burger King with my boyfriend, other he who she had ex. We're gonna call her Burger King. We're gonna call her Burger King. So, Burger King. And me never liked each other. Ain't no other way, short form, fashion to get it out there. We even argued zoos in ninth grade. About what? I don't know. About who? I don't care. We just didn't like each other. Ain't no other way around it. We just didn't like each other. She was the type of girl that couldn't fight, but she had a mouth. She had a fucking mouth. 
could not fight for saving her damn life. If she was getting beat, she was just going to have to hit that ass up. Because, baby girl, you've been running about 40 going off how you just got them bitches. So, Burger King, I didn't like her. We argued because my ninth grade year, we can give her our own story. Um, just know I was a smart bitch and she was dumb. So, we argued all the time. That was nothing new. So, why she felt the need to text my boyfriend and say that she's dating Fat Diamond? Oh, Fat Diamond. <laughs> But this day, I was sneaking in his phone, being nosy. I didn't have feelings for him at the time. I just wanted to be nosy because that was just me. He had left his phone around me too damn much for me. Not. If somebody leave their phone around you consistently, he wanted you to see something. He wanted to see your reaction and pop off. But I didn't do that. I just played the game with God. That was dealt. You feel me? And he he don't want that talk that way after and all that. Not me. She. I knew what I was doing. I knew how to handle mine. All I had to see was enough, and that was enough. That's all I know. That's all I need to say or hear. Um, Burger King texted him, woo -woo -woo -woo. so you gonna you gonna choose her before you get with me? You gonna so you gonna go with her? It sounds like to me you're jealous. So we got to school. Okay, we not gonna go that far back. That's gonna be in her own story time. Um, so but Bando worked at her job. She comes over my job being messy with Bando, knowing I deal with. Bando in school. She sees me see Brent Bando and hug Bando and we kiss each other on the cheek and whatever and whatnot. He carried me up and down the stairs. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's why I don't understand. When people call me fat, I don't listen to that shit because I always had meat on my bones. That ain't stopping my nail, nigga. That ain't stopping my nail, nigga. Okay? So, she see me and Bando at school. Damn, I love you, but be dub it up. Okay? She knew, but she knew on the outside of there, I was with boyfriend um yeah i was a boyfriend i was a boyfriend what about it but she knew that though she was being messy me and bando knew where each other worked but we never came to each other that job we just never disrespectful like that because we knew we knew so just to come put the ice on the cake she brought bando to my job why me and boyfriend on night shifts together we up in there kicking and cocking and whatever being petty and messy petty and messy she gonna say, where your little girlfriend at? So he was taking her order. Where your little girlfriend at? Little bitch, I'm a big bitch. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? And here, oh, never mind. You feel me? It was one of them moments. It was here, and I seen Bando. My heart dropped. She's trying to be petty, but she don't have pull like me. You feel what I'm saying? So she knew what she was doing because she kind of talked to Bando as well. But that wasn't my business. He just said he couldn't see her for that because the way her teeth was. And everybody talks about that girl teeth. And I don't understand how her teeth like that. And girl, you wasn't even pushing 30 yet. You're not even pushing 20. You're not even pushing grown yet. And your teeth like that. But you always want to talk some shit. You want to talk some shit at that, at that same shit teeth. But you see what I'm saying? Let me just talk about you. Sorry. I'm just saying, because most of they talk about me. So when I talk about somebody, it's for a reason. Not for no reason. I'm not going to just wake up in the morning and say, oh, I got to talk about you because I'm not. And won't. But I will. But I won't. Okay. So. She knew that I was messing with these two dudes. Heavy. Heavy. She sits at the counter with her ragged, sagging tooth. Ragged ass bitch. She sits at the counter and was like. This y'all girl. I have never seen my boyfriend jump, jump froggy before. Bando was like, you funny, and you funny as hell, Burger King, because you always doing shit with your raggedy ass. You know what you was doing. She was like, Andy, but ain't nobody with my sister, and you think that now, but we're talking to school. So when we got to school, it was a whole other, we're going to talk about that in her own story. So just know, she was being petty right there. And then I'm going back this far, because then she goes to school. We're not going to tell everything that happened at school. She, then she goes to school and tell the whole fucking school about me and my problem with the with the. So now... X and Burger King close. Now they got something in common. Now they got something in common. But remind you, me and X was cool. We damn near grew up together. Damn near we did grow up together. We went from kindergarten to now we in high school together. Shit, you feel me? But I didn't know her. That's the thing. They knew me, but I didn't know her. I was friends with X sister. Me and X sister was like this. It was like this. It was for real, for real. But she was one of the kids that got bullied. But I didn't never see nothing was wrong with her. It was just. I don't know what she said was wrong. Something was wrong. I don't know what the problem was. But I didn't, I don't judge people. So I can't tell you what the problem is on top. 
unless I guess she made me mad and I pull out stuff that I don't even know that was true, but it's true. You know how that go. So now all of a sudden X and Burger King so freaking close that tea starting to get spilled. But remind you, we was on live one day, me and X. Me and X is on live. Not together. Mm -mm. We never been alive together. I always had to see lives and shit like that. I got some more stories about that ex bitch. Cause that, when I see her, she has zero confidence. To get shit to say, but every time I say something, my say yeah, something. Either way, it go under my breath, out of breath. Like she know I'm talking shit about her because she know I got I got animosity built up on her because. And I'm not even one of them sick ass bitches. I like motherfuckers. I'll laugh real because I'm like motherfuckers always doing something in the fucking sun. But when motherfuckers see me in person, don't want to jump. Oh, okay, that's that's me. Because you do a lot of keyboard typing. You will even find my page seven times. I done had six million different Facebooks. Motherfuckers will find me in the blink of an eye. My name can switch and they still will find me in the blink of an eye. Because I'm a social media influencer. So I pop up down their pages one way or another. That's why I got rid of all, most of my social medias. Because bitches is messy. Bitches is messy. That is what gets me. Okay. And... You would think that would stop there. That would be top tier right there. X and Burger King being together, best friends or whatever. Walking in the hallway and laughing extra hard or something funny. But being extra petty because they know I'm in the hallway with Curious George. Bando didn't never really come to school. So I had opportunities to do what I wanted to at any given Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You feel me? I had all the opportunities in the world to do what I wanted because Bando barely came to school. He came to school when he felt like it and yeah so why they sit up there and plot on me she asked ex ex uh curious george to prom but she did that out of spite because every nigga that they wanted or had or anything won't me i don't care y'all can call it sloppy seconds at the end of the day at the end of the day at the end of it all you're just mad that he don't want you anymore he want me Cause he, he seen the new a bad bitch, you feel me? A bad bitch that's top tier. Fuck you talking about up here, always been, never been down there. Okay, you feel me? Even on my worst days, I still look good, better than these bitches that's always talking about me. Cause I'm a big bitch, I smell hella fucking good. I stay smelling good, baby. One thing about me, two things for sure, you would never catch me funky. You would never catch me lacking on my worst days. You feel me? My eyebrows may not be done, but that's it. My hair done, my nails stay done. So when you see me, you just know. Just know, a bad bitch is approaching, and what about it? Move the fuck out the way. So, I'm just trying to process all this in my head. So, now she's talking to Curious George. She just asked Curious George to go to prom with her. But, like, a couple days before that, she got, she fell out with Burger King. She fell out with Burger King. And she was like, I'm sorry for doing you like that. So now I'm on, at this point, me, my sister, and Bando was at my house. We're on lives together. Then, this is where Shy come in. Shy joins live, X under the video, going stupid dog crazy. Talking about, ooh, Shy, you fine, you fine. She don't even know him. I don't even know him. Well, I know of him, but I don't know him. Because I'm dealing with Bando, so Bando, so I'm dealing with all his family. So, you feel me? Like... So that just was, that was just messy. So she's being thirsty under the post. But Shy wanted me so motherfucking bad. It didn't make no sense. He's open there being so damn thirsty. She being thirsty towards him and he being thirsty towards me. Do you not see me sending on Bando lap on live? It's not that hard. The man's kissing all over me, touching all over me. You feel me? It's not that hard to take a rocket scientist to be smart. And he like, I don't care about that. Move around. But they supposed to be blood and whatever. They, they blood. And... Bando, um, Bando was basically telling bro, bro to chill. He was like, bro, chill, this my girl, this my shorty, this my shorty. And he was complimenting, like, I like your smile, ooh, you were fine. But you got everybody, when we went live together, me and Bando, everybody kept telling me I was the baddest motherfucker he ever been alive with. So, whoever he was on live with, I didn't care. Because when I stepped on there, everybody got x off just for me to get joined, you feel me? That was just that. That was just that on that. Every time, I was the queen of lives. Everybody lives. So everybody would get on and instantly add me just because. Just because I get on there, we go crazy. Numbers going crazy, buku crazy. People watching the shit at work, at school. People did not care. We was just 
I was just life of the party. So he's inboxed me like we're not on live and says this is I'm talking about shy. Get on there and talk about um you can leave my bro because you too fine to be with him. He not even on that type of sh uh, Chicago type of level. You need to get with a real Chicago nigga. This is what he said. I'm like, but that's all I'm on live and I got everybody in my inbox from live. Talking about you gonna follow me back, you gonna follow me back, you wanna kick it, you wanna do this, you wanna do that. You fine, you fine, shorty, you bad. I know. I know. Okay, oh, I, I miss live. I'm not even gonna live. That's where all my confidence came from because I had zero before I got in high school. I had zero. When I came up, just know I'm up. I always had a bad appearance. Like, I used to look good. Not in a bad way, but I'm saying like I had a bad ass appearance. Like, maybe when I step in the room, it's just everybody stare. That and all. They just couldn't believe that I was a heavy set girl that really, you know, you know, eat, eat them hoes up. Eat them hoes up, yeah. Um, and I just thought it was very freaking funny to me because I had zero confidence. Now I went from zero to a hundred real quick. Now month was going to be petty. So now she's been thirsty or something, whatever. So fast forward, they get to talk in the nighttime. Shy and X, they get to talk in the nighttime. He's screenshotting all their messages, sending them to me, talking about I'm over here hyping this girl head up, but I don't want nobody that damn dark. So he was being racist. I felt like he was being racist, but he can't be racist to somebody that looked just like him. Yeah, her teeth probably wasn't as bright as his, but they was about as dark as each other. He stayed on the phone with me all night. So when Bando was doing whatever he wanted to do or sleep or do at work, he would keep me company. Um, yeah, that was wrong. But like I said, I wasn't in a relationship with nobody, so it is what it is. I got played. I got played out all the times. I went through the phone. I had everybody's phone. I've been through there. It's just don't get, don't catch feelings and get upset when I pull you. Because I, I see how you move first. I'm not just going to instantly just dog you out. I'm going to let you show me your first dog out move and I'm going to continue to dog you out. That's what it was. It don't, So don't look at me like, oh, girl, you were HOE. I became that because I was tired of getting dogged out. When I was trying to take serious motherfuckers, everybody wants to play me. So, it ain't like I didn't give them one. I gave them a chance. And then they fucked up. So, what I, what I supposed to do? Sit there and wait around them? Wait around? No, because I've simply told them, you fuck up once, ain't no, ain't no coming back. Because I ain't a relationship with nobody. So, you fuck up once, uh, just join the crew. Now, it's a pal of y'all. And now they kicking the cock in his next day we go to school me and uh ex is sitting at the table together she asked can she see my phone because her phone was off she said because she was connected to wi-fi earlier from somebody else hotspot and he wasn't answering which is shy shy wasn't answering i said i'm gonna tell you if i give you my phone shy been on the phone with me and talking to me and texting me or whatever she said you for real i'm like yeah she was like but don't you uh talk to curious george and whatever like that with i said girl everybody talk to everybody I don't know what she wants to say. Everybody talks to everybody. So she grabs my phone. I let her see my phone. This is her. I give her the phone with the dude name on it. I'm like, but he been texting me. I gave it to him just like this. I don't think I see it. It's saying it's up in my notes. Okay? So she like this. Bitch, anybody know what this mean? I sent you. I already had, had the page up. I gave it to you like this. All you had to do was press the little top button to call somebody. Bam. It wasn't like that. She scrolled. Then she goes back. Then she goes back and go back up here. And then she go back to the name that I originally gave her. And then she gonna call him. Then she was like, girl, he's not answering to call him again. He answered. She was like, hello, baby. He thought it was me. He thought it was me. Well, he called me sexy. But he was like, what up, sexy? He thought it was me. He was like, she was like, so you really be over here doing my work like that? I thought we had something going on. And she going full thought of nobody. I'm like, girl, it's been not even a whole 24 hours that you and this man been talking and you just on his ass like that. No. That's why they probably don't want your ass because you just desperate as hell. So then she gets out of there. She was like, I'm going to text him real quick. She texted him and she deleted what she said. Well, then she starts scrolling again. I can see all this, bitch. I got glasses, glasses, bitch. I'm, I got bifocals. So now she's reading messages and stuff. She runs into yeah boy, well my boyfriend. She runs into him. I'm talking about. Might you talk to? Let me backtrack just a little bit. When we was on live, day before we went on live, we I ended the live. I ended the live because um my boyfriend, we was gonna call him boyfriend. He had joined live. But I was sitting on another dude's lap. You know how bad that would have looked if I let that ride out? 
before the live got clicked out and he joined, she was like, she got the notification first because they already been friends on Facebook longer than me and him have. Because, yeah, so she already had got the notification first that her, 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 she said her first love, she, this is what her said. My first love just joined the live, y'all. I might know what she talked about. I didn't catch what she talked about because there was a lot of motherfuckers joining the live. You feel what I'm saying? You know, you feel me? They clicked my head the next day. I heard him say, I said, oh, gotta go. I seen him join, and I respectfully delete, just ended the fucking live and deleted it. Normally, we leave our lives up, but I deleted that one just for, for no specific reasons because I was sending this man a lot, and he kissing all over my neck and all that stuff, and, like, it was just giving a whole lot of, whole lot of going on, okay? So, when he joined, he texted me. He was like, why you in your life? Um, who was there with you? I said, my sister. My bad. It was, I was just kicking this box under here. He was like, um... I was like, who there with you? Like, who there at your house with you? I was texting back, sneaker to him behind Bando, like, my sister. Why are you in the live when I join? I said, no, nah, somebody else ended the live. I'm lying my ass off. He, Bando, like, give me your phone. What are you doing? Why you get off live? Um, pay the bill. You don't pay this phone bill. You don't pay this phone bill. So, Okay, he kind of, he, he probably did it once. He probably did it once. He, he gave me money. I give that. He gave me money until he started doing wrong. But that's the only other story about Bando. So, I'm like, whatever. Cool. Like, in live. We go back live later. Later, not right now. So, cousin on the phone. His cousin built shy and you know what I'm talking about shorty you fine you know I let that man go whatever whatever next day come she calls him he answered he called me sexy thought it was me but it was her then she reads my boyfriend messages in her um and mine she was like Merch you messing my F my FL I don't know what the hell a FL meant I I did, didn't know what the fuck that meant so when she said FL I'm thinking she like Flint what what, you, what is that what is that what is what you, what you mean by your FL? My first love. You talk to my first love? He talked to you? I'm like, who was your first love? She shows me. She says the name and she shows me the messages. I said, girl, you know him too much. You know me. Like, you know me. I said, damn. So now she know everybody I talk to. She was like, oh, dang. I didn't know that you talked to him. But girl, I'm tell you stories about him because he's this now and third and fifth and sixth. I'm not going to go through death what she said because she said what she said. And I'm going to say that her own story. She said what she said, and I was like, oh, that's crazy. Then she got to tell me about how she didn't have six miscarriages, and she got to go down her life. She got to go down her lane. But what kills me is that, you know, like, fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me two times, put the blame on you. Fool me three times, fuck the peace time, look, chop the rain on you. Yeah, that's how I went for her. So I kept letting her do what she wanted to do. One minute she cool with me, next minute she not. One minute she cool with me, one next minute not. So she kept, one minute she apologized, next minute she she just ends up acting weird and I hear about through the grapevine and she talked about me. Then next minute, it was just like one of that and she had come apologize. She had come apologize but she wasn't telling about anything like, so you're not denying it but it's like that third time put ice on the cake um, between me and her. So, she was being petty. Because she found out I was talking to him with the she asked Curious Joy, but she know that Curious Joy is supposed to be asking me to prom. She asked Curious Joy to prom. He made a post. He gave her a poster that put me in me. So my favorite candy was on that damn poster. But her name was pissed me off. And I'm like, really? So he comes talking to me. They recorded a video. People recording a video at lunchtime, trying to show me something about bro. What, bro? What? I thought it was supposed to be her. So you hear everybody screaming. It's supposed to be a diamond. It's supposed to be a diamond. What you doing, bro? You you tweaked out. You tweaked out. My point exactly. Did that, I came up seven different niggas. Seven different niggas. All because they all felt that that was grimy. It was. On so many different angles, angles, and all that. So, all her dudes swindled over to me. And I'm not saying like it's a good thing or a bad thing or anything, but it was like she lost everything. She lost everything. But that's they fought. So, they prom didn't go so well. They prom did not go so well. They prom did not go so well. They went together and left separate with different people. The next day, Curious George come come, trying to come explain himself. Bro, fuck you. You. Okay, with a bit. You feel me? You just really tweet me out. You tweet out, boy. You get on my face. So I'm really, I'm giving it to him. I'm really pissed. Um, At this point, I'm really, I'm really am. 
I got asked. My leg short and this chair hurt. I'm chewing him up and spitting him out and re-chewing him up and spitting him out. So I'm giving him his whole life. I'm going around school telling motherfuckers she fraud as fuck. She fake as hell because she she trying to do this because of this and third, but they ain't gonna do with me. So then that wasn't even that. So then she apologized. But then she come and try to get a job up there with me and her first love work at. She comes up there. She was like, it's diamond here, it's diamond here. I'm like, oh hey girl, um, what? She was like, can you put in a word for me? Can you put in a word for me? So she's desperate for me to put in a word for her. She was like, is what the here? Trying to be funny. Boyfriend. She was trying to like his boyfriend here. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, he in the back. She like, uh, okay, um, can you tell your manager I'm up here? I'm ready for my interview. My manager came up there. She was like, you know her? I said, yeah, don't hire her. I'm like, you watch this. You, you finna see why she, I say don't hire her. Not even 30 minutes in the conversation. The boss asked her, do she know somebody here? She was like, yeah, my first love and diamond work here. My first love and diamond work here. He heard that in the grill. First love and diamond. He got my that grill on T-top. On T-top, he said, why the fuck is you up here telling motherfuckers this and that and third? What do you your ass weird? He was like, she was like, don't be acting like that. Don't be acting like that. Like, you don't be texting me. What do you he said, bitch, I don't be texting y'all already. So he going, they going off back and forth. So I'm kind of upset at him because I'm like, she's not finna just sit up here and say that y'all be text back and forth for no reason. We weren't together at the time. We was working our way into a relationship. You see what I'm saying? She said that with the, with the, then it made all perfect sense. When we got together, I went through his phone. I mean, I went down to like the nitty gritty from the first time he got a Facebook. I, that's how far I went. I had a couple time on my hand. The day before he took my virginity, he took her to the mall. She texted, but he they didn't do nothing, but I just feel like he shouldn't have took her to the mall. He was like, I took her to the mall because she wouldn't leave my fucking house. She wouldn't leave my house. She coming over here talking about where my nieces and nephews and them. And my, my sister told me to take her ass home. And she was not listening or whatever. Called her to the mall with me, but I didn't buy that shit. Nothing. I promise. I promise. I said, but that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. He was like, uh, whatever, man. She was texting him, talking about so now because you with her. You're not going to text me back or nothing like that. Yo, ass is weird to tell you. couldn't even bought me something from. So he didn't buy her nothing. To eat. He didn't buy her anything from that damn mall. He took, he just took her and took her back home. They didn't even, they didn't even really talk. So he was like, why you acting weird with me that day? You took me to the mall. Like, you wasn't talking to me. You wasn't touching me or anything. So it's the the messages proved it, that they wasn't doing nothing that day. But I just felt like that was disrespectful. I got my get back out there a while, but it doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Um, yeah. The next story time might get me a fucked up because I still ain't told him this. But I mean, he don't watch my YouTube videos, so I don't like he willing to listen. So shit, y'all listen, y'all be quiet and mind y'all business. She, we did, we did, I did what I did. That was just was that. That was just that. That on that. And I always got to get back. I don't know. I'm so heavy on get back. It don't make no sense. I want you to feel the way I felt that moment. And now you're feeling just like me. I like that. I like that. It's not good, but I like that. I don't do it. Don't do it. So, their problem was horrible. She was messy. He's messy. Everybody's messy. Shy still wanted to talk to me. A year later, he's still blowing out my phone. Talking about why he's going to give me no chance. Bando hit the corner again. You feel me? All them mother truckers that done did me wrong. That ain't even the bad part. I got another part of this story that's coming in. I'm not going to just ask Curious George out like that. I just had to give a reason to why, how Curious George played me. So then, Curious George pleaded the fifth. Fall break come. Came back to school. Like, or was it summer break? It's what I go. When we came back to school, he, um, he did everything to say sorry and whatever and whatnot. Then we started getting back on that somewhat stable level but it was still a teeter totter it was still a little bit on level it was almost there but it wasn't all the way there because that motherfucker was like this for sure but for sure that motherfucker was just like this for sure but it got kind of even but it still wasn't there so he thought it was okay to send me his news he said but if i send you my news you gotta send me some of your news back but that was my first and last time i know 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 leave me alone I learned my lesson. He said, if I see my news, would you send me something back? I was like, okay, cool. Whatever. I did. I was about a good fold pictures. 
the girl sitting right, the cool, cool shade. You feel me? I, I sent him something to hype him up. After I sent him that, it was like a frozen popsicle. Like a frozen popsicle, then you put your tongue to it and it gets stuck. He was stuck. Like he was stuck. That man tried everything. He was just like aroused. Like his arousal was weird. Like it was very weird. Cause he um was starting to become obsessed with my nudes. To where you would be sitting in class. He has something like he never wear he don't wear glasses, but he wore other people's glasses because he felt like he looked good at them. I'm looking at him. Y'all see that glare in my glasses right now? Let me show y'all what it looked like. Let me go to one of my pictures. You see how you can see? You can see something? Just imagine him scrolling. Just imagine him scrolling to some big ass boobs on the screen. Just see that. Just just see what I'm seeing, where I'm going through. We're in class, he's watching it, he's trying to get up there. And he turns around and he comes sitting next to me. He's talking about he's starting to fill on my leg. He's trying to put his hands where they don't belong. If I'm not mistaken, he he probably did. He did. He tried to, but it was like it was like one of the fast moves. Like, boy, you doing a lot because I wore a dress that day. I told you I always came to step. So I always it didn't like it was unusual for me to wear a dress. It wasn't unusual. It wasn't. It wasn't unusual for me to wear different types of clothes and like you feel me, it wasn't unusual. That day he just was very I saw him news, he was very but his news was very much not given. So not only did that happen, that's what I'm saying. I need y'all to pay attention to like both stories at one because I gotta tell all curious George and his problems. So curious George turns around and he do what he wants to. And I tell everybody to tell do what y'all want to. Just don't don't interfere with what I got going on. Because if you want to be 100 percent down with me, you would never do what you do did. My closest friend, <laughs> and I know the story is getting long. My closest friend, she's like, how would you feel if I talked to Curious George? Because he, I, uh, I remember y'all was together and whatever. What we did the next moment was down low. She was like, how would you feel if I talked to Curious George? Because he texted me a couple days ago and whatever. But this is the same dude that sat up there and talked about my friend like a dog. Talking about how tall she is, how this and that she is, how look at how she look. It's the same girl. Boy, I tell you, I said I don't care. I just want to see how far she was going to go with her being my friend. Yeah, these hoes, like, these niggas ain't shit. You feel me? I know. I know. But it's also more of respect because, you know, me and him literally just got out of a cahoots. And whatever. So, she proceeds so easily a one night taking her virginity situation, whatever. She came back to school and was like, girl, this stuff's so big. It wouldn't fit. And what do I say? That ended quick. Then he got to be in obsessed with my nudes to where he got to show a couple more people. People and people started asking me. And now only that, so then she started to feel way. How could you feel some way when you did what you did and you know what you did? I feel some way because my body is exposed. And people want to think I'm just a, a toy. And they want to take pictures of, talk about, well, can I, can I, can I, can I? Now, like, I'm losing my brain cells. Like, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Because I'm like, I'm feeling embarrassed. I'm missing school now. I can't tell mama what's going on with me. I'm telling her I don't feel good. I'm doing a whole lot because, yeah. And at that point, okay. Me and my boyfriend and I just got together. We had just called it official. We just got, we got, got caught it official because he still did what he wanted to. So why should I? Probably know he wasn't sending his body parts out, but he was getting body parts sent to him. You see what I'm saying? So we was together, we wasn't together, we was together. It took the worst of the time when he found out I was doing a whole lot because I was so secretive of my stuff. It wasn't, I wasn't secretive, I just didn't think I had to tell you because you don't tell me when you do stuff. I go through your phone and I see what I see and I do what I do. So that's how you get a motherfucker. When you play the game they play, they love you ten times harder. So... Yeah, that's how that went. And, and that's what happened. He have a very, very strong bone in his body. If I ever did something on him, he would really cry. So, I know I got a nigga wrapped around my finger. So, 
I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize the relationship. So don't do anything to jeopardize our, our relationship. Yeah. But that right there went from zero to ten. So she thought it was okay to come and tell me and nag and brag about what they did and whatever and whatnot. But then she was like, wait, what she found out? He had my news and whatever. And I just felt like you're a friend, you're grimy as fuck, and you know that, and you're not. And you should never, ever, 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 ever want to be somebody else's friend. Period. Just, just, just that on that. But she's screaming about how big it is. When I got that nigga's news. When I got the niggas news, I don't know how to describe it. My pinky probably was bigger. You know how a dude scrain their private part so it can be bulgy? That shit was skinny. Skinny. It wasn't even long. Like, it was skinny and a little on its full potential. Yeah, probably look bigger on soft full time. Okay. So he after them, he apologized again. He was like, with you, I'm sorry. It wasn't supposed to be like that. But also summer break coming up. Do you want to chill? Summer break, he goes back with her because I wasn't kicking it with him. I already had a boyfriend. So I'm not gonna spend my summer break trying to go cheat because I already got a boyfriend. So she like she come text me talking about you and Wuthi Woo still done? Because he's trying to come back. And Wuthi Woo, I just want to know. I'm like, she knows she did wrong because she kept text. You shouldn't have to ask him to text me anything. After you did what you did with him, that's cool. You do you, boo. I'm not going to go do him. He's not going to get nothing from me. So he's begging and pleading. Damn near. He At this point, he's starting to be thirsty. Blowing me up on every social media. I blocked him. He even went under one of my YouTube videos and commented. I had to delete it. I deleted it. I don't know where everybody. Because, yeah, like, that was dead. Been dead. <laughs> Curious, George is very curious. He wanted to be with everybody, friends, auntie, uncles, and cousins. Like, talk about I couldn't tell her no about prom. Yes, you could have. Yes, you could have. If you wanted to take me to prom for real, for real, you could have told her no. Just like my dude. My dude, when them girls asked him, can he get that phone number with we wasn't even together. It was out of respect that he told them at they asked no to see in a relationship. He finna get in a relationship. They was over there butt hurt. I was the girl that was in finna be in a relationship with him, but that's not the point. He respected me. No, we wasn't together, but he respected me because he knew that he wanted something out of us. I did not relationship. I'll tell you again, I did not want a relationship. I'm, I'm not mad about a relationship. Like, I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm actually happy. But, as y'all can tell, because girl began to wait. But, um, yeah. I ain't never been skinny, but also, I also, I got features of a grown woman now, but I'm still gaining weight. Like, that makes sense. And, it was just, you know different don't so when his ex the ex came around trying to be cool with him again and by him with who trying to be petty and messy me and her got on that whatever but that's gonna be out the third time but this story about my i don't title it my horror story prom a horror story or story time about my horror story prom i don't know how to label that i'm gonna figure it out when i write it down but other than that like comment subscribe don't ever let them play you and do what they do to you i guarantee you, they're gonna be after your finger because curious george so so obsessed that he's still trying to hit me now and i'm 20 baby motherfuckers that come on out don't play me then then try to play me like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. it's not giving it's not giving so yep curious george is very much suffering now he look like a curious george he's like a george now he look definitely like a monkey he all black girl then it's just not Nice, and he still want that on me. He want, he want to be with me, like he still want that. Like, no, no, no. I gave that boy too many damn chances. I think he got more chances than a little bit, to be exact. Y'all see how many times he fucked me over? He didn't talk to me my ninth grade year. My tenth grade year, he fucked up so damn bad. My eleventh grade year, I barely wanted to talk to the man, speak to the man, say hi to the man, sit by the man, man, you sit over there, like. That's just what it was. That's just what it was given. All right. But other than that, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends, aunties, and uncles about me. And like, for sure. Make sure my video get rich to where it's supposed to be. Bye.